there youtube how's it going i just wanted to make sure you all knew how to weld like a dummy all right i've been uh wanting to build this here trailer for a long time and i got me a good one here for like 400 dollars, and then i needed a welder i've been trying to weld for years and i finally figured i better be go get me a welder for for 80 dollars $80 to the Harbor Freight. Go to the Harbor Freight. That's a good place to get the welder. Okay? That one right there. That's a Chicago Electric. And if you want to weld like a dummy, you make sure that you don't have long sleeves on. Make sure you wear short sleeves. Okay? And then you make sure that your gloves only come up about halfway. Alright? They go about halfway. And that way, you get burns all over your arms. It's really good. Alright? Now... This one here, th this here Harbor Freight thing, it comes with a mask, and it's really hard to see in it. So you make sure you can get you a box to go around it. So you can put it on like this, okay? And then you can't see nothing. But once it starts welding, you can see stuff. You can see stuff better when it starts welding if you have this box. So don't, don't buy one of them fancy helmets with the auto darkening. Don't do that, all right? Now, another thing is make sure you, that you don't read the manual. Don't read it at all, no nothing. Okay, this one's real simple. Like all it's got is here is just just current, and and it's it's minimum min 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 minimum and max for maximum maximum, right? And so make sure you don't know the size of your trailer or nothing. And so when you start welding and you have it on the minimum the whole time because you think that's that's the best kind because you know you're welding using these little tiny rods here. See them there rods? That's only 16th inch. So you figure, hey, them's those small rods. So it's got to go on the minimum, right? Well, turns out when you weld all of these things right here, you weld these all things right here, and then all of a sudden they get all wobbly on you. And you're like, what's the matter? That's because you're welding like a dummy. See? It's all wobbly. So, some somebody, I think I did it on accident. I, I flipped it to maximum. And now we got good welds, and it's a whole lot easier to start the bead and everything. It's, it's way better. But, you know, don't do it like that if you want to weld like a dummy. The other thing, the other thing, where's that other thing? Oh, make sure you don't get them their goggles. Just use your sunglasses. Just, just weld, not weld, but, you know, when you've got to do the grinding. Where's the grinding? There you go. When you do the grinding... Just use these, and that way all the sparks will fly in your eyes, and this is just really good for you. All right, don't don't worry about them there things like this, you know. That's no good. Now another thing is make sure you got tons of wires that are hanging really high in the well, and then you trip all over them all the time. It's really entertaining for all the neighbors because they out there watching you and they laughing. The other thing is make sure you you can't find the ground. The ground is is really really. See this here part of the welder? It's got to go to the ground. So you, you try sticking it on the grass, but it don't work like that. So you got to figure out what's the ground. And it turns out it's on the trailer somewhere. And you can find it. Make sure you find it like way over here on the corner. And that way, see, when you're on this corner right here, that way you don't have enough wire to reach all the way over here. When you're going to be over here, when you weld it. And then, you you know, that's how you weld like a dummy. It's, it's really easy to do that stuff. And so, you know, them... The other thing, make sure you buy them crummy, crummy, crummy stuff, like from the Harbor Freight. See that there? That there thing right there? I guess it's a, some kind of a vice club. It looks like a duck bill, don't it? Anyway, that there duck bill, it, it, it breaks. It, it's no good. It's good. It, it, that's how you wear it like a dummy. Don't buy the good stuff. Just buy the stuff that you think is the least expensive. And there's a reason it's least expensive, but that's how you wear it like a dummy. Oh, did I show you my chair? Make sure you find a nice, nice chair, and it's it's super wobbly. And so when you're trying to weld, you just you weld all over the place. That's how you find the arc, and you get the arc because that chair helps you just weld away. You see that? It's good. It's good. Oh, the other thing, make sure you, you don't go to no place to buy, you know them, them their them you know the angle iron stuff. You don't need them no angle iron stuff. Just get your bed rails. Just that people throwing bed rails away all the time. And so you just just get you some bed rails. There's some over here. Check it out. I got a whole bunch of them for like ten dollars. So ten dollar bed rails. Look at that. All of them for like ten dollars. You just cut them up. Just do that grinding thing with your sunglasses on, and you just cut them up, and then you got your pieces. And it's easy. That's how you wear it like a dummy. When you wear it like a dummy, 
you just, it's very entertaining for all them neighbors that are watching you. So, hope you like their, their yum, yum tubes. And um, someday this here is going to be a toy hauler. That's what, that's what the plan is. So I can run ride them, them motorcycles. When I ride them motorcycles, I can, I can just put them up in the trailer. And then I can sleep in there too. But my wife said, you don't want to do that. Because then you'd be like sleeping in the box. And it's a box made out of wood. And she said, the only time I want to sleep on a box out of wood is when I'm dead. And so this is going to be called the coffin. Ha! <laughs>